Now, what is tab to transient in Reaper? First of all, what's a transient? Well, a transient is that loud initial burst of audio when something like, when anything happens really, like speech at the start of your syllable, there's a transient. When a drum is hit, you see that drum stroke looks something like this bit of audio here. That's actually a guitar chord with a drum. And you can see where it hits is loud, the loudest point of the audio. We call that the transient. Now, when you're editing audio, um, basically, you're going to want to make your edit points right before the transient. And most DAW software, DAW software, has a tab to transient feature, and Reaper's no exception to that. So if I find a spot where I want to sample from a cool tune, uh, such as here, I want to find the beat one here, which was this hit here. And the way I could zoom right in, I could use my up arrow key, zoom right in there, try and find a zero crossing. I could say, hey, maybe that's good enough, which is pretty clean, isn't it? Or I'll come back, a quicker way rather than zooming in all the time, is to use tab to transient. So I'll come a little way before it and hit tab, and it goes to that little transient, hit tab again, and it jumps to the transient I wanted. And you'll see there, that's exactly where I said might be a good point. So um, you're going to save a lot of time if you know about tab to transient because you sort of you eyeball it. You go, all right, where's my edit point? I go, all right, that was the beat one. Um, I'm going to just go right before it, hit tab, then hit S. You've split it a lot quicker than adjusting your zoom level, even with the shortcuts. Um, let's look for the other end of that bar. Let's just count a whole bar, perhaps two bars. One, two, three, four, two, two. Three, four. Oh, my eyes told me that that was the spot where the uh, beat one occurs. So to get a clean cut, I go a bit before it, hit tab, and that's where I will do my split point. And that means that delete the bit before after it. Sorry, delete the bit before it, and I've got what should be a two-bar sample. So if I put the grid back on, and I um, move it so it's on a, a beat one. I'm going to use my Alt tool to time stretch it and drag it so it fits within two bars of music. And I could actually, um, you know, copy that, duplicate it, and see if it makes a clean loop. And that sounded absolutely perfect to me. So you might note that the rate is at 1.23 because I squished the audio in there, and you can actually just lower. Um, lower that until you see the rate information get closer to one. Essentially, uh, Funky Drummer was at 98 beats per minute because the rate there's almost 1.000. And that Tabs Transient tool is going to be your friend for lots of editing, including sampling. So just remember that when you do it, you might want to turn off the snap. You're going to click before the transient you're looking for and hit Tab. Quite simple. My explanation was a lot more long-winded than the process, but hopefully you picked up a few of those other shortcuts in amongst it there too. Good luck.